So today we're going to work on parallel structure. Parallel structure means that, that everything lines up. As Abigail said uh, just a few minutes ago, that it means, for instance, when we have the introduction to our essay and we list our three points, that our conclusion, Cameron, the three points must be relisted in the same order. If you list them out of order, it's not parallel. That's for a general parallel structure throughout an essay. But then we have structural structural issues during sentences. And since we're going to start writing essays, I think Monday, because Friday I have a surprise for y'all. I want to show y'all how that how I expect your sentences to be written. So let's look at number one. Okay? Make sure my marker's on. It's on. They decided that they needed a change, that they could afford a new house, and wanted to move to Arizona. They decided that they needed a change, that they could afford a new house, and wanted to move to Arizona. Is that sentence parallel? The answer is no. This sentence is not parallel. What you guys have to do now, you have to make it parallel. Listen to it again and read along. They decided that they needed a change, that they could afford a new house, and wanted to move to Arizona. What do we need to do to make this thing parallel? Okay. To make something parallel, what you're going to do is you're going to look for similarities. Now, we have three portions of this. They want to do three, three things, right? Mm -hmm. Needed to change, afford a new house, wanted to move to Arizona. Those are the three things they're doing, right? Two of those things line up. One does not. Check it out. That they needed to change. That they could afford a new house and wanted to move to Arizona, what do we need to put? That they wanted to move. This makes it parallel. Put that on your paper. They decided that they needed a change, they could afford a new house, and that they wanted to move to Arizona. That makes it parallel. Generally, when you make something parallel in a sentence, <coughs> generally, you're gonna add a word or two, change a word or two, or take out a word or two. And the reason we're doing this is so when you write your essay, you won't make parallel structure errors. When you go and do your proofreading, you're going to check, okay, everything's parallel. Okay, good, good, good. All right? Check the next one out, number two. I like playing baseball, reading about sports, and tacos. I like playing baseball, reading about sports, and tacos. I like this person. I also like those three things. I like playing baseball, reading about sports, and tacos. Is this sentence parallel? Shelby Carroll. No. She's right. This is not a parallel sentence. What do we need to do, Shelbster? Yeah. We just got to put eating right here. Put eating. I like eating. Look, because it's playing baseball. You got like that little action. Playing baseball, right? Reading about sports and tacos. You can't just taco. You gotta be eating tacos. All right. Now these kids are rolling, Miss D. Look at number three. Most adolescents have a dream. This is for you, uh, River. Most adolescents have a dream to play professional football or play professional baseball. Most adolescents have a dream to play professional football or play professional baseball. Anthony, is this sentence parallel? He said no, and he's right. What do we do, Anthony? We're on number three, correct? Sir? We're on number three, correct? Yes, sir, we're on number three. Most adolescents have a dream to play professional football or play professional baseball. No. Good try. Tell him. Uh, you just got to put the word to. Yeah, two. Yeah. Look, guys. Now, Anthony, I don't know if you did this in your previous class. This is called an infinitive. To play, right? And then we got an infinitive here. To play. Most of the time, I shouldn't say most of the time. No, I'm going to say it. Most of the time, 
these deal with three things. They deal with verbs, infinitives, or gerunds. A gerund is a, a verb that's going to end in ing and be used as a noun. Now, I want everybody to look at number four. Number four. Members of the work crew spent their lunch, their lunch break, eating sandwiches, napping on the grass, and reading newspapers. Members of the work crew spent their lunch break eating sandwiches, napping on the grass, and reading newspapers. If you think it's wrong, I want you to put like an X in this box, okay? And if you think it's correct, I want you to put a C in the box right now. Members of the work crew spent their lunch break eating sandwiches, napping on the grass, and reading newspapers. 10 seconds, and I'm going to walk around and check. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Most of them are getting it, Ms. D. That's awesome. Yep. The answer is correct. It's correct. We don't have to change this one, okay? We do not have to change this one. Let me show you. Look, guys. Correct, right, look. They spent their lunch break eating sandwiches, napping on the grass, reading, look, they all three in an ING. That one, most of these things deal with verbs, okay? Or infinitives, you know, some type of verb that most of the time these deal with verbs. We're gonna do one more. Hawaii is famous for its beaches that are beautiful, warm climate and exotic atmosphere. I'm gonna let you know that this one is incorrect. You guys have about, I don't know, 60 seconds to fix it. Go. There are two possible ways to do this one, just so you know. There are two possible ways. One is easier than the other, but there are two ways to do it. Not quite. Take that out. You're on the right track, but not quite. No. Got about 20 seconds. This girl! Don't let Miley see it. She'll try and cheat! Uh oh, Miley got it. Never mind. No, good try, but no. No, good try, but no. Good try, but no. Tell them, Molly. Hawaii is famous for its beautiful beaches, warm climate, and exotic atmosphere. Guys, this one was not a verb one. This one was an adjective one. We've got beautiful beaches, warm climate, exotic atmosphere. All you had to do was add beautiful before beaches, okay? Add beautiful before beaches is what you needed to do. You needed to take out, uh, you needed to take out the few words um, that, that are beautiful. So it should say Hawaii is like she said, Hawaii is famous for its beautiful beaches, warm climate and exotic atmosphere. Look, we go adjective noun, adjective noun, Adjective noun. Most of the time, this deals with verbs or some form of a verb, but not all the time. Sometimes you get an adjective one. Now, you could have put this. 
it would have been more writing. But you could have said, Hawaii is famous for its beautiful, excuse me, for its beaches that are beautiful, its climate that is warm, and its atmosphere that is exotic. It would have been a lot more writing. I like the way you two young ladies did it. Okay, do you understand this? Okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do 6 through 10 on your own. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I'm going to let you know that one of them is correct. Four of them are wrong, and you have to fix them. Questions before we get started? All right. Good luck, you people at home.